Maternity and Infant Care is a bibliographic database and contains over 290,000 article abstracts from journals and grey literature. The Midders team add abstracts from more than 400 journals, including popular titles like The Practicing Midwife and The British Journal of Midwifery, and we add grey literature from sources like Government Reports, Guidance from Public Health England and BBC News articles. The earliest dated record is from 1857, but most of our coverage starts from 1988 onwards. We also upload the full text of articles from Midders publications on here, so you can view articles from every issue of the Digest. The database also contains over 550 pre-prepared literature search packs on popular topics like continuity of care and water birth, and we continuously add to these search packs every day. So if you're wondering how to access the database, you can find it here in your My Midders portal if you currently subscribe to us. It shows up on the left hand side under the Maternity and Infant Care tab. There are a couple of different ways you can search the database. You can use the basic search box on the home page and type in your subject area, article title or author name like this. You can sort your results by relevancy or year and you can save the results by clicking on the print reports button here and producing a PDF or you can save them to your personalised favourites folder within the database. You can also export citations which is useful if you're creating a bibliography or references list for an essay or research paper and you can export to a few different programs like EndNote and ProSite. If you can't find what you're looking for, then you can use the button here to run the search in PubMed as well. This is a great function that we've recently introduced and can help to make sure you found all the relevant research on your topic. Although we cover a wide range of literature, there will sometimes be some journals that we don't cover, or there might be some very recent articles that we haven't got around to adding yet. If you want to carry out a more detailed search then you can head over to the advanced search function here and you can search for articles written by Sarah Webb on OAC for example. You'll see here that this is an article in the digest so you can view the full text by clicking and downloading the PDF. We also have an online resources section here which includes all article records where the full text is available free of charge. Although we only upload full texts of articles from our own publications like the Digest, there are lots of articles that are freely available directly from publisher or journal websites, and we include a URL or DOI link if this is the case. Our latest research section will show you all of the most recent records that the library team have added to the database. This is a really easy way to find a quick overview of the recent developments in midwifery and maternity care. This page will be changing all the time as we're constantly adding new records to the database throughout the day. The last section of the database is the Browse tab here, where you can look through our list of search packs which are curated by our team of librarians. If you happen to know the search pack code then you can enter this here, but most people will probably use the title and category fields, or if you just want to have a browse through the various search packs then you can use the A to Z list here. If we search for home birth in the title field, this brings up a few relevant search packs including some archive packs which include older records. If you click on home birth safety then you can see that the description of the search pack and you can see that it includes 428 records and again you can sort by year to view the most recent records added. Some of our search packs include RCM iLearn links where there is an iLearn module on the same topic. In this case there are three relevant iLearn modules on the topic of home birth. Other search packs on topics like refugees, perinatal mental health and continuity of care also have iLearn links. The access URL button here will take you to the RCM website where you can log in with your RCM credentials and go to the iLearn page. The browse section can also be used for authors and subjects. The subject list can be used to find articles that have been tagged with particular subjects such as Scotland. This is useful as we don't have a search pack on Scotland specifically. So as you can see, our maternity and infant care database is a great, easy to use resource for midwives and student midwives at any stage of their career, and it's a fantastic tool for keeping up to date with the latest developments in maternity care. If you need any additional support with using and searching the database, then our team of librarians are available every day during the week and always happy to help.